Hi, my name is Christopher Stevens, and I'm a fan of philosophy and imagery. Um, this is a short story about an organization that thought strong talent and the right technology was the secret to success. Most organizations realize they have room to grow around the edges, but it can take real fortitude and bravery to admit they have a major blind spot. See, that's a combination of see, unicorns and technology right there. Um, I joined this particular team last October after the CTO was fired for uncertain, unscrupulous practices. Uh, he, was their, he was their infrastructure architect as well, uh, so that was the role I came into. Um, I came in there starting by asking them, so what are your current worries and pain points? Uh, I ended up hearing about a lot of gremlins. Um, long build times, fluctuating database permissions, hitting storage lim limits for Lambda functions, uh, and lots more. So we don't understand why we have these issues. We built this with DevOps tools. We should have this all worked out, right? I mean, what went wrong? Um, basic picture of the environment was a serverless framework, Circle CI, Elasticsearch for reporting and monitoring. Now they did select good tools in the beginning that really helped them solve some early problems, but without, but they continued to rely on these with no effective philosophy that left them uh, reusing processes beyond their intended scope. None of these guys decided to work in operations or things like that, so they were missing that real, that side of the house. As we know, technology doesn't solve problems, it just gives you faster and more creative ways to make mistakes. Um, so this is where they were, they were on their knees saying, please help us. Uh, so the first thing I had to go about was really doing some uh, software archaeology here. Um, I had to deep dive into the code, and this is the first thing I saw. It's a giant wall of code. Um, and it wasn't that I can't read code. Um, the problem was, just like with this image, you know the trick, uh, I, had to see, I had to figure out what was going on with it. Um, and I was gonna need some help sorting it out. So I called the meeting of all the devs and I said, what is this code supposed to do? What is the whole process and application? So Wally up here pipes up and says, this is an e-commerce site. Users can browse items, add them to shopping cart and check out. Alice says, no, 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 this is not right. It's a shipping scheduler. Times for future orders can be sent and shipments tracked. Gilbert's like, guys, guys, you both got this wrong. It's a point of sale system for sales reps to punch and process orders they receive from customers. I mean, this goes back and forth, and the arguments go around the table, and it like, gets a little ugly. Um, I mean, it shouldn't have to be this way. This, this conversation, though, really got me thinking. It reminded me of a story I remember from my childhood. Um, so where is it? Three, two, one, there we go. Uh, raise your hand if everyone has seen this picture before and knows what it is. Cool, so it's like a third of you. Um, it's an old story about these eight blind monks that were called in by the, uh, the king to see this new elephant he got, and they all go about touching and feeling the elephant. Uh, you know, one says it's like, a, a, it's like a rope, and the other says it's like a wall, a fan, a spear, and they all come to blows uh, because they can't agree on what the thing actually looks like. So the main, the main thing for that is that this is the exact situation I was dealing with, and I've realized I've been dealing with this situation all the time. Devs are working on specific pieces, but they don't all agree on what the entire system is as a whole. This is another interesting one. Those limitations that they had early on um, grew, and eventually they were being limited by things they shouldn't have been limited by. Um, just like this elephant could break away when he was a kid, he didn't have to be. Um, so this brings us so to this. So all perspectives in that argument were true, and that's important to realize. Whether you think there's five feet or four feet, you're both right. Or, or four legs or five, le five feet, you're both right. Um, one of the solutions to this was to define domains. Allow the developers access to everything and give them the rights to do it. That might sound a little scary, but there's some uh, really good technologies you can implement, uh, like AWS permission boundaries, that I'll have to give a longer talk about later. Another really important thing is to solve the vision problem is literally build the map. When people are talking about anything, have them literally point to what they're talking about so everyone else sees in context what they're, what they're describing. Um, and another one is these guys, they, they refuse to uh, ask for help when they were drowning. So just like we talked about eliminating that three seashell culture before, uh, that's uh, vital to the success. So I just have a... That was that. A uh, couple jokes. What's the elephant doing on the motorway? About five miles an hour. Uh, one more. Uh, why didn't the, more, no, more elephants go to college? Because most don't finish high school. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, my name's Chris Stevens. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, if you want to talk about uh, challenging team situations, cloud ecosystems, or just sharing your, share, sharing your favorite hiking locations, hit me up. I'll be around. Thanks for having me today.